Okay, I'm getting a lot of questions about my last post about cooking for George. Yes, it's real. I cook for George. Now, I used to cook for Dylan all the time, but he's kind of taken over that role. He's quite the chef these days. So maybe it's a little bit that I feel like I need to cook for somebody. He's really cute. He deserves it. George, do you like the things that I cook for you? Do I make you delicious things for dinner and breakfast? Uh, I think that's his way of saying yes. Okay, he doesn't look very enthused, but trust me, he eats all of it. But seriously, I started doing it because if you do a little research, the things that they put in dog food and the regulations or the lack thereof, it's kind of crazy. You'll definitely think twice. And this critter is my best friend, so, and part of our family. So if I would treat the rest of my family so good, why wouldn't I treat this furry little guy? Um, his vet did give him an A plus and said I was doing a great job. And there's a website called Balance It where they'll ask you a bunch of questions and then you put in what you're doing for your dog and they'll let you know if you're doing it right. Okay, so I already got two questions. One was, does it take a long time to do this? No, mm -mm. I'm a mom, so I figure out the most efficient way to do everything. So I've got it down to where I make it up and it lasts like four to five days and we're totally good to go. Okay, the other question I got is what's what's in his dog food? Um, I'm just gonna say that you wanna talk to your vet, you wanna do research on your breed and all of that. So don't just do what I do, do a little research for your own dog. Um, but his is made up of green beans, sweet potatoes, peas, carrots. I think I'm forgetting something. Um, there's beef. I use fresh pets in the refrigerated area of the dog food. Um, and then I also add a scrambled egg that I do in the microwave, as well as a little bit of flax and a little bit of steel cut oats. And here's one other tip. Thank you, Steffi and Penny. Um, in the beginning, George was spitting out his vegetables like a little kid. But if you put the meat and the veggies in a Tupperware container and let them sit so that the veggies kind of take on that whole meat thing and then you put the egg on and everything, um, he gobbles them up then. Unless the green beans are raw, he likes them cooked. So, picky critter. Oh, and I also add a little bit of yogurt in the morning so he gets a little probiotic.